All right, so you know this, right? Whopper, whopper, whopper. Yeah, I'm not even gonna let it finish. After a long discussion with a friend, we didn't really think there was anything too crazy about the chords. However, I would posit that looking at the melody is a little more revealing than looking at the chords. Basically the first half of this thing, everything up until B, K, is using intervals that build tension. Think of an interval as exactly what it sounds like. It's a distance between two notes. Different intervals create different emotions inside your brain. A lot of jingle makers are very specific with what intervals they use for that reason. One you might know off the top of your head is the NBC jingle, which uses a major sixth. And a major sixth can be described as winsome, which is basically just pleasing because of a childlike innocence. The folks at BK are creating tension and anticipation with the verse, if you can call it that, of their jingle, slamming you with intervals that create pleasurable longing as they describe the whopper. whopper, 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 whopper the funny thing is too, is that this guy was supposed to sing an F sharp, creating a minor third, which is like a sadder interval, but he's so bad at singing that he sung a G, which created another major second, which created even more anticipation. The repetition and the lyrics really contribute to that feeling of being barraged by this effect. Like, oh, you're waiting for something, you're waiting for something. But what you're really waiting for is them to say BK because that interval is a perfect fifth and it's arguably the most pleasing interval for a Western ear to hear. Catchy music is all about repetition and tension and release, and this jingle is textbook in both of those. Not to mention when you get to the BK part, the vocals are doubled, implying that, hey, maybe you should sing along here, further cementing it into your skull. But all that isn't even the real reason that it's stuck in your head. It'd be one thing if this commercial was placed in any spot between any television program at any time of day. I mean, it's Burger King. It could be fit in anywhere. But the real genius is that they targeted NFL games. They're taking this borderline sh post of an ad and showing it to 18 to 28 year old guys who love posting. That's obviously gonna be a hit. And if you're shocked by the word I just used to describe the commercial, don't be. What I'm getting at is that it's intentionally bad. The singing is bad. The lyrics are bad. The instrumental is genre. The reason this ad is stuck in your head is because it's mockable and it's being shown to people who love to mock for fun. Association is a powerful tool. You hear this commercial while you're losing a bet, you hate it. You hear this commercial while you're winning a bet, you love it. Either way, you're remembering it and you're mocking it. Maybe you're using it to mock a friend. It's the same reason a song blows up on TikTok. It's not because of the song itself entirely, it's because of the context in which you experience it and the emotions you associate with it. This jingle is literally built for you to be washing dishes on a random Wednesday when no football is on and find yourself humming whopper, 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 whopper. It's maybe the most genius music slash marketing play I've seen in a long time and they have like 40 more iterations locked and loaded. If you like this video, check out this one I did on the vocal range of Haley Williams from Paramore. Spoiler alert, it's insane.